Mag.com Welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> no problem. Do you have any questions? Oh. <laughs> well, um, what's it like being a voice actor? Oh, How um, do you become one? Oh, it's, it's a lot of practice. And a lot of you, Simpsons impressions. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should do that. <laughs> Family guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ren and Stimpy, anything like that. Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Ren and Stimpy is the cause for all the weird television shows that are out now, like SpongeBob, and uh, they all try to out weird each other now. Well, I mean, hey, if the wor it works, yeah, that's true. you know. That's true. <laughs> Not that we should talk, you know, anime. And all. <laughs> but there's story to it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> I can't even ask you how you're enjoying your con because it just started. I know, I know, and but I can't say like we're outside, so me being very pale. Ah, uh, see, not burning into flames, nothing. Uh, hopefully, but, uh, not yet. Um, Maybe if I see you later, it's gonna be like, oh, don't touch me, I'm burnt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a beautiful tattoo. Thank you, thank oh. you. It's one of several, but yeah. Despite what people think, it's not a Cthulhu, it is an octopus. It does yeah. look like an octopus. I don't yeah. see. It's I when mean, the, just see. the tentacles are showing, I guess. Oh. Uh, maybe if they thought it was uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Oh. Like, is there a pirate hat on that? No, not yet. <laughs> maybe maybe when I, I get it touched up, I'll be like, yo. Just put a hole. When are you going to put this pirate hat? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's first day of the con, and I guess it's not really going yet. Um, no, I guess. It's not going yet. It's but not going yet gonna be fun it is gonna be fun it's the first year con first year and I've been talking with Mike Mead who's running it like off and on for months keeping track of everything and I've already kind of uh, talked to Jade and I want to meet other voice actors which I love meeting people from other studios and uh, <clears throat> spend too much in the dealers room now either. where are you based what uh, I'm actually from Pennsylvania but uh, which is where we are if we you don't are know. Um, here and uh, but I'm based in Dallas, Texas, so near the Funimation Studios. Okay. And, but I do most uh, when I'm not there. I do my own home studio recording. That seems to be the thing you have to do: live by the studio. Is yeah. that like a requirement? Uh, it's not necessarily <laughs> a requirement. You know, um, some people say uh, <laughs> this kid in the background is so funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's enjoying the pool that's there you down go. there. There's a pool back there. It's not just a kid that we have locked in the back or something. <laughs> <laughs> we rise mag. You better love him. <laughs> if not, you get locked up. <laughs> but no, um, I, I, I sometimes get messages from fans or potential voiceover people that say, like, well, I would move there. I'm like, please don't move here. It doesn't work out very well. <laughs> I mean, there's only, I think, one person I know that actually did it, and it was after he started voice acting, which is Micah Solusad. And even then, you know, he has other jobs, but yes. Uh, no, please don't move to Texas uh, <laughs> just for that. You're going to move like really like the Cowboys or something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> now, are you going to visit family, friends while you're here? Uh, I have some friends around here, but um, he's, he's psycho con people. It's like they want me to work or something. So <laughs> I guess I am here for work. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. It's a pretty cool gig to just kind of hang out with people and get interviewed by awesomeness <laughs> and, listen, and, and listen to kids playing in the pool. But uh, no, no time for that. Um, but I'm doing, doing a con in Dallas next week, so oh. I'll probably that'll be very more chill. No flying, nothing. Oh. <sighs> Are there any spots since you lived here? How, did you live here most of your life? Or? Uh, no, my dad was in the Navy, so okay. uh, I was born here, lived the first couple of years here, visit occasionally. Uh, whenever I can, you know, to maintain my accent. <laughs> or, <laughs> uh, Pennsylvania, then Virginia, then California, then Texas. So. Oh my goodness, they're beating <laughs> the kid. That's what happens if you don't like us. We beat you. It's a whole panel right there. It's just <laughs> why you should like us. <laughs> um, so I read that you really like zombies? 
Or zombie is, genre? Or I, you read that, that true? somewhere. That might, yeah, I've read it multiple places. Is that true? Multiple truth places. That? I've actually, uh, actually, there's um, uh, an anime coming out uh, called Sankarea, where I was the zombie expert on the show. <laughs> For the okay. adaptive scripts, I wrote Monica Rial, a, like a 40 page cheat sheet on horror films. And she's like, I just asked you for some tips. I'm like, when you, nah, I, I, I didn't know where to stop. So I, please tell me to stop now. But um, yeah, I like zombies. Um, I've written about them occasionally on, you know, blogs and I've gone to horror conventions. Those were my first cons as a fan, uh, like meeting George Romero and cool. uh, all those people. But yeah, I'm a big fan of, of even one of my tattoos is a zombie, zombie pinup girl. But yeah, I, I love my zombies. Uh, not really the new zombie movies, but like Walking Dead, and I read the comic too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite zombie movie then? Favorite zombie movie, uh, I have, it's like picking a child, which you should <laughs> never pick a favorite. Um, but like of course, everyone does have a favorite. Uh, no, it's uh, probably Dawn of the Dawn of the Dead, the original Dawn of the Dead. Okay. It's a really not only was it you know a zombie film, which it's really bad makeup, especially on these. <laughs> Yeah, but that's... Uh, especially on uh, African American, or pretty much anyone of color. Uh, I'm like, oh, that zombie's blue. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, you guys don't know how to do makeup on people that aren't white. But, um... <laughs> um, but uh, it's a really good statement on consumerism. But uh, I, I love it. And I just... It's an awesome film. It was one of... I think I watched that before Night of the Living Dead. But since then, yeah, I've, I've got a few. I like some campy ones, too. but Such as? Uh, like uh, Dead and Breakfast. Have you ever heard of that? I have heard of it. I don't know if I've seen it, though. David Carradine's in it for like a split second. But uh, Oz Perkins, who was Anthony Perkins' uh, son, uh, he, it's, um, it's narrated by this musician, uh, Zachary something, I forget. But they have, uh, he narrates it with music. And the zombies even have a dance number. Okay. <laughs> and David Carradine's randomly in there. Diedrich Bader, who's a great voice actor, too. Uh, and um, it's based off of uh, someone opening a cursed box in a small hick town. And hilarity ensues. <laughs> and horror. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Excellent. Well, I'll have to go check that out. You I should. swear I've seen it, but I, I can't say I remember no, like it's one of those things that I was like, yeah, I did. I'll push it away. Yeah, there, there's some really bad ones. Where you're like, maybe I've seen it, but maybe I've blocked it out. Because there's some ones that are bad for the sake of them, like not knowing it's bad, or there are ones that are like, this is, oh, this is so bad. It's we made it because it's bad. I'm, yeah, see, I know. I like, <laughs> I like things that you don't know how bad they are until you're like watching it. I'm like, can the editor do something with this? Let's save this piece of crap somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best campy movie is Shaun of the Dead. That's my favorite one. Yeah, Shaun of the Dead, I consider that more of a romantic comedy. Uh, well, I mean, see it on the okay. poster, but um, which At World End comes out today. I really want to see oh, that. Yes. I really want to see yes. that. I'm a big fan of uh, Edgar Wright. But, um, yeah, I love Shaun of the Dead. It took me a while to see it because it seemed like it was a spoof. Oh, And yeah. it's not at all. I love it. And that's how I learned about Spaced and all the other stuff that they did. All those movies are good. Maybe not Fat Boy, Run Fat Boy Run or... That oh, that was, that was directed by David Schwimmer. Oh, was it? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, some random thing. Uh, that is cute, I guess. They used to... <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. We're trying to get points with David Schwimmer. What's totally. <laughs> you know, Schwimmer and I are like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they used to call me. Actually, my friends bought me a, uh, the character from Shaun of the Dead because they said I looked like <laughs> You, you kind of look like Shaun. Um, that's bad. <laughs> they used to put it all over the place at work. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's bad. And uh, I don't know what else. Oh, hmm. you are part of a fairly popular uh, p podcast, right? I guess it's popular. Uh, I do. I was actually texting. I'm still texting back and forth with Tatum right now because uh, he's at uh, MatsuriCon. I think that's it in Columbus, Ohio. And um, 
He's my co-host on a little podcast. It's been running for almost four years called That Anime Show, which sometimes we talk about anime, not very often. But our guests are all affiliated with the anime stuff, and my husband uh, engineers it. So it's a show we do. We used to do it every Saturday, and after like two months, we're, we're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore. This is ridiculous. Um, so with our schedules, too, because we're all growing up and... My husband goes to school at night. So can we please just do one show, something? But uh, it's been going strong. I had to cancel uh, August because I, I book everybody and I guess I produce it. But um, it's a good show and I think we've done pretty well. And occasionally we get to do an off, uh, you know, unscripted panel. Or it's never scripted, but like a unplugged panel at cons or okay. something. Oh, that's we, cool. we did one at Tokyo and Tulsa and... It was weird. <laughs> we, uh, it was 18 and up, and you know, an 18 and up panel, if you've never been to one, is they check your ID at the door. They did, but this guy brought his brother, who is nine, and if you haven't <laughs> listened to that anime show, it can get pretty vulgar. And so, you know, we were answering some pretty intimate questions. <laughs> he learned about and life. And this little and kid's like, <laughs> like, yes, you. You were a duck. What would your name be? What's the first thing you do? We're like, oh, that's a cute question. Next question, they're like, are you dominant in bed? We're like, <laughs> like, these are the jokes, and the kids just, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> get him out, get him out. <laughs> no, he stayed the whole time. So he learned some lessons. Yeah, oh, totally. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you, your husband also works with Funimation? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Stephen Stephen Hoff. He's a ADR engineer for Funny. Uh, worked on uh, Steins Gate, Penny and Stocking, uh, a couple of Ava movies, Lime you, Barrels of Iron. Do you have to work with him often, or do they try to keep you separate? Uh, well, when I, I used to direct there, um, when we uh, were both working there, like at because that you know acting, we're all contract employees. We don't technically work yeah. for Funny. We work with Funny a lot. Um, but uh, as an engineer, like engineer actor thing, it's fine. If anything, he's more talkative when I'm there because he's very stoic. Uh, but no, they were like, well, wouldn't it be like, would you be opposed to working with Steven? I'm like, no, but I mean, you wouldn't be doing me any favors in my personal life if you did that to me. <laughs> like, it's just like, hey, honey, see you in a couple minutes. I mean, we probably would have saved on gas, but there you go. That's about it. <laughs> like, how do you not let that affect your home life? Like, yeah. So, like, how could you not see that flap? Seriously? Seriously? Mm -mm. Oh, no. What do you want for dinner? Do you bring that home then? Oh, <laughs> no. Like, no, with, with work stuff, it's like, okay, you get 10 minutes to gripe. I get 10 minutes to gripe. And then let's actually talk not about work. Oh, that's cool. Because <laughs> we've, right. we've worked together at, in some capacity in every job that we've ever had since we've known each other. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Fun stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. When but you're like, I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that I do freelance gigs, uh, a lot of freelance gigs, uh, he doesn't really work with me, but we met working at Guitar Center together. We worked at a gutter punk club together. He was oh, an wow. engineer. I was a bartender. And, you know, I needed... So he was stalking you? Uh, probably <laughs> the other way around. He's much cooler than I am. <laughs> but, no, uh, so... Yeah, funny, it's cool when I get to go up there. It's like, I'll see my husband for a second. Or not at all. I don't know. So outside of work, what do you what do? you do? Any hobbies? Go to I, Gutter Punk uh, bands? Gutter, <laughs> gutter Punk Club. Go check out Gutter Punk Clubs. Yeah, there aren't really, well, that one closed. There's Red Blood Club. Uh, and uh, it closed after a stabbing. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. A six-person stabbing. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting text. Yeah, I'm going to be a little late tonight. <laughs> What's that? Stabbing at Red Blood Club. Nice. Uh, luckily, I'd already quit by then. Uh, no, I do audiobooks from home, uh, my home studio. And when I'm not doing that, uh, my friend and I like to, I'm a huge thrift store junkie. Uh, so I thrift shop a lot. I mentor with big brothers, big sisters. Oh, cool. So I try to look cool to a 10 year old, which <laughs> fails quite often. But I took her up to the studio, so it's probably the coolest I've ever looked, like this week, last week. Um, but let me see, what else? 
I read a lot, write a lot, and uh, I've, been, I've started blogging over the past couple months. It's been fun, cool. writing about little things here and there. Mm -hmm. And zombie movies, of course. And <laughs> or horror movies in general, but yeah. You do the, um, oh, what are they called when you elaborate on a movie? Like, like a fan fiction type thing? Do you, no. you do those? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I read them. Like, because uh, I was really, I think the first horror movie I ever saw was Hellraiser, which. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I love it. What? I oh, love they're all it. the same. Every single one is like. Oh, no, the, all the, like, the ones that are like Hellraiser, <laughs> Deader, blah, blah, blah. Like, those are scripts that were so bad that they're like, hey, you know what? Can we get the rights to do, like, put Pinhead in there? And it's a very loose, random thing. But no, I, one and two, and three, because it's really, really bad. And I love it, like a CD Cinebite. Ah, CD in the face! <laughs> oh my god. But uh, no, I don't do any fan fix. But I, I read one about Hellraiser, which I thought was interesting. But I've got, like, a fan at Tokyo and Tulsa made me a little knit pinhead, had a little oh, box cool. and actual pins in his head, and not the proper reaction, but mine. I'm like, he's so cute! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> yes. Uh, so, no, no. Um, been writing for uh, just for fun little things here and there things that happen in my life or cons I write about the cons that I go to oh, that's cool. unless they're bad then I won't <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't get a write up no. now is, are you ever weary when you go to like a first year con are you like uh... I, I guess I you know I'm around people that have been doing this a lot longer than I have are you around streaming kids a lot no <laughs> I, I don't have screaming kids. I have disposable income. Uh, joke. Huh? That Wendy Powell made me tell her uh, at her baby shower. Um, <laughs> I'm like, this is weird. But no, kids are cool, and he's playing. He doesn't know. But um, oh, let me see. That's the probably going to get us more, more <laughs> watches than anything yeah. else. The, the, <laughs> probably. Um, the first, first year conventions, I think the first one I went to was Anna Main in... Portland, uh, South Portland, Maine, and yeah, they're they're smaller, but uh, I kind of enjoy growing with a con. Yeah. So you can also forgive, uh, you know, like mess ups, which I haven't really run into any yet. But con hasn't started yet. But uh, even then, I'll probably just whatever. <laughs> but um, first years, I guess, for some people, they're a turnoff, and I guess a lot of people are afraid to do first years, but they got big, you know, help them out by getting cool guests, and they've got a really, a lot of really cool guests here, Yeah. but, um, like, the one in Maine, the first year, you know, they just, it's, most of the time a first year's run, it's by people that have been going to cons forever, so they already have a general idea, and the rest, they just kind of learn on the way, and. Uh, and I'm kind of there with them. So at the end of the day, it's, hey, you remember that thing that was horrible? <laughs> <sighs> but we made it. We made it, guys. High five. Yeah. So uh, I guess I tend to do mostly, I, used, I tend to do newer conventions. Okay. The, the older ones are pretty neat, but, uh, and like super organized, like Tokyo and Tulsa, which I think has been going for like eight years, they, sent, they gave me like a folder and I had two handlers, and you know, I had their email, cell phone, blah, 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 and they're like, if they have all your information, I'm like, do they have my blood type? What? <laughs> my God, you guys are good. But, mm, and I think with this one, uh, Mike unfortunately had a lot of people bail last second, so you'll probably see this blur of the con chair just running around. <laughs> I'm gonna yes, put a yes. flash shirt if I can. We <laughs> witnessed his uh, having to run around a lot. Yeah, I'm like, hey, can I get a printout? Hold on. I'm like, oh. No, 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 no. Let, I'll find it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a couple, I guess, what are, you, what are you working on that you can speak of, That obviously. I can speak of, of course. Like, this thing. Like, well, I can't talk about I it yet. About it. Um, <laughs> of course, uh, I think part six of Fairy Tale just came out. Uh, and I do love me some Fairy Tale. I get to play uh, three people now. Uh, and Virgo, the young version of Jalal, and the other world version of Jalal, which is Mystigan. Um, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, I like playing <laughs> I like playing little boys, I think, more than women most of the time. But Virgo <laughs> is just different. Virgo's a weird one. I'm like, okay, if I go in for a session for her, I know that I'm going to dig a hole or say something really perverted or both. 
but like while doing both. Um, so hopefully that will keep going. Uh, one, uh, one Piece came out not too long ago and I got to play the younger version of Frankie, which is a lot of fun. I've never really been a part of that show. And uh, other than that, I just had an audiobook come out that I did, which is called Eyes of Lightning, which is really neat. It's a YA book, young adult book. Okay. And other than that, I've been uh, working with uh, Brian Massey, who's another voice actor, and he's started his own little web cartoon called VO the Show, and uh, I'm about to guest star on that. Cool. And I think Christopher Sabat's been on it. I forget who else, but it's a it's a cute little, very Massey, so very random and unpredictable show so I was happy to be a part of it very good and where can they find your blog blah oh my gosh you can find I am such a shameless You're promoter like just I'm like you. <laughs> oh my god actually there's I think there's another Terry Doty she does nails I do not do nails unfortunately and I think like we both got a website at the same time I'm like I got the Terry Doty domain ha ha but um let me see uh you can find it uh, T Dodaly, which is my Twitter handle, uh, T Dodaly dot WordPress. Uh, you can also find it through my Twitter, uh, which is T Dodaly, and my fan page, the Terry Doty Appreciation Society, which is very English. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, my friend Rick Cole, uh, who's from England, uh, he made it for me, and I'm like, oh, I love it. It's just so proper. Maybe I never would have come up with the, the Teddy Doty <laughs> Appreciation Society. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Well, ah. We're gonna get in. No. <laughs> We're all gonna burn. Uh, no, I'm I'm half Mexican, so I got melanin on my side. Uh, I do not. <laughs> so you start I'm freckling. Partially Italian, I am the white of the white Italians. <laughs> <laughs> They're like northern Italian. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, so um, the blog I try to post about once a week. And it's very random stuff I've talked about. Zombies. I've talked about the industry, too, because we get a lot of the same questions sent to us. So well, kind of my way of helping sometimes. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for having me. I hope that your con goes very well and smooth. And I'm sure it will. I'll find a way to laugh off everything <laughs> that doesn't go well. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you around the con. Yes. Thank you very much. That was fun, guys. Uh-huh. <laughs>